I just got back from a trip with Ernest Cisneros and we absolutely smoked them. And we were throwing the Corky, big, the Corky fat boy. I threw pink one day and then I threw this one and it is, <laughs> um, it is wrecked. That thing is destroyed. There's teeth marks, it's all chewed up. I bet I caught 40 some odd trout on it. And some uh, biggest trout of the day was seven five. That was my personal best, it was a pig. And we, cut, we had a bunch of fives. I'm here with Captain Ernest Cisneros and he has a, uh, a great conservation strategy called the Empty Stringer. It's called the Empty Stringer's uh, Catch and Release Program. So tell us a little bit about that. So that program, uh, I started it about maybe four and a half years ago. We're going on five this uh, coming April. And what it is, uh, you know, if you agree before the trip to release everything, which that's what the program is about, catch and release, uh, some of our sponsors have come together and have given us some swag items to give to the people that agree to join on the catch and release program. And so over the four and a half years, we have released over, we're probably close to 9,000 keeper fish That's that awesome. would have gone to the fillet table if it wasn't for the program. So again, you, uh, you want to go on a fishing trip? I ask you, would you like to release, you know, would you like to participate in empty stringers? What's that? Well, if you agree before the trip to release everything you catch, we count the number of keepers on the, each trip and we total them at the end of the year. And we're close to 9,000 over four and a half years. So we had 34 yesterday. 34. And, we and got, some pigs. We had some big trout yesterday. We did. We got 24 fish today. So we're throwing everything back. So it's a great conservation effort. If they're dead, they don't keep swimming. They're not going to stay out there. So really consider you guys. I'm just going to be more direct than earnest here. The same guys that I know who go bass fishing and never kill them come down here to saltwater and decide they're stacking them up. And I have no idea why that is. This is a great program. We're out here lure fishing. We're guided, paying our fees. We have all the travel costs and expense, but we're not bringing anything home because we think the fish are more important to catch than killing them for some glory shot on the nails. You know, uh, photographs are great. They're memories you can keep. Uh, and uh, I look at as the fish as my... Uh, business partners right. so I try to take care of them right and uh, of course okay just to be clear if we gut hook one gill rake one he's bleeding real bad we're taking him but we haven't had that happen yet yeah and, and you know sometimes on on uh, I get uh, groups that maybe fish with me two days and maybe one day they keep fish and then the next day they release right. but because of that program they're you know willing to participate and to help uh, the conservation of our fisheries here in the lower Laguna Madre all right thank you Ernest Yes, Let's go whack him. Let's go. <laughs> He's got a fish with a fly rod. We'll see what happens with that.